Hi guys, welcome to the channel. It's me, the Blockchain Coder. So, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So, in this video, I'm going to be just introducing you to Roblox Studio. Some of you might already know this, so you can just skip this video if you want, but because there will be more tutorials on how to script. So, yeah. So, when you come to Roblox Studio, you'll see all of this. So, don't get overwhelmed. So, first, I'm going to introduce you to this. This is your toolbox. It's basically, it basically holds a lot of free models and things that you can use and to build your game. But I don't advise using all of these because sometimes they could have viruses in them. So, yeah. Just use ones that you know are good and maybe do a little research on them at first. Okay, so that's about the toolbox. Then, on your right now, you'll see something called the Explorer window. This basically contains the workspace, which is where a model or a part appears. Like this, see? So you can see now this part that I put in is now in the workspace. This is the workspace. It's what players will see when they go into a game. Then, after that, you have the players. So when a player joins, it will add their name into this place and we'll learn more about these different components later in the other videos. So yeah. Then, properties tab over here. You might not already have this open, but if you do, but if you don't, then you can just go over here on your view tab over here and click on your properties over here. Yeah. Then it appears. Now, another thing which is very helpful when learning how to script is using the object browser. It gives you basically, it's basically an index of every single thing in Lua. So, let me just show you right now. See, it has every single thing in Roblox Studio. See, it goes right down. And then, of course, we'll discuss about all these different components later. So, yeah. So, and then after that, you can go to your model tab. This is where you can... Like, do stuff with parts. So, like, let me just spawn in a part. To spawn in a part, you can click on this over here in your part section. And you can even adjust it. So, if I want to spawn in a sphere, I could just do this and then see a sphere is here. But maybe you want it a little bigger, you know, or you want it a little longer in sides. So, you can click on scale here and just, you know, just adjust it to how you want. And yeah, sometimes uh, if this over here is like set to like a high number, like uh, for example, this is set to 10. Whenever you move something, it'll move it like 10 studs away. See? It, it's moving it 10 studs away. So, what I recommend most of the time that I use is set to 0, and you can even just untick it if you want. So, and then, you know, I can just move it freely without it moving so far away. That's great. You can adjust the part color by going here, clicking on it, and it's already a set palette. So just click on whatever color you want, like for example blue, and see now you have a blue part here. But see what happens when I play the game, see? Right now, when I play it, you can see that it's like a football, like it, it sort of moves a little, see? It's like a football moves. But say you don't want it to move, you know, because like if it's something that the players weren't supposed to move, uh, yeah, <laughs> then what you can do is simply go up here, go to your home area, go over here to edit, and click anchor. So it won't move anymore. Then, after that, now, terrain. Terrain is a building aspect of Roblox Studio. So what you can do, you can even generate terrain, like this. Sorry if my mouse is annoying you. You can go here, and I can even generate terrain like this, so... I can just apply what I want here, maybe I want water too, you know, maybe some marshes, and uh, maybe a little bit of a lava scape to make it interesting. Let's, you can even adjust the biome size to whatever you want. And then, once you're done with all these settings, just click generate, and see, it's generating the whole map. See, it's very useful. And then see, now you have this whole nice little map here. That's quite useful and yeah so you can and okay but there's gonna be a problem because the player will spawn here and not up here now how do you fix that basically you go again to your model tab and click on this button here that looks like a star I guess so like a star right yeah click on it and then it'll give you this 
it's a, called a spawn point. Now in most games uh, they hide it, although some they don't. So yeah, you might have seen this a couple of times. So yeah, uh, yeah. So you can click on it, but if you click on it and then like this orange line appears, it's because of the decal, which is like a image. So yeah, so just click on it on the side where there isn't a decal, you know, because the decal is on the top. So yeah, that's why when you click on the top, it'll like automatically click on the decal. So try just clicking on the side. So you can just you can also adjust the color for this, you know. And normally players you wouldn't want players to see this. So you can just put it underground, but don't worry, players won't spawn on the ground. So yeah, you can just hide this. Or or if you want, you can just turn up its transparency here. But of course you have to delete the decal first. So yeah. But it's easier to just move it underground. And it's already pre-anchored, so you don't have to worry about that. It's already pre-anchored. And then see, yeah. So now we have this nice terrain over here with some water and some lava and stuff. Marshes. Now, another thing you can do with parts is rotate them. So like this, okay, circle's a bad example, but yeah. You know, like this block. You can rotate it however you want. So you can just rotate like this, and yeah. And sometimes the, the same thing as the move, if it's set to like 10 or 15, like 15, you will see these like lines appear here they'll get like further away if the number's bigger they'll get closer to each other the number's smaller so you see there it moves it like this now it's quite good if you want it to lock into a certain position you know like if you want it to align a certain object with another object then it helps so what i was talking about earlier where the lines get bigger like this so you see now they get bigger and there's less this is a bigger space. So yeah, I'm just uh yeah. I'm gonna take it. So yeah. That's how you can do that. And hmm. There's also a couple of other things here. The plugins area. Plugins are basically like tools that you can use. They're like additional tools, you know? Like say this tool, this plugin over here. Uh, this plugin it can load in your character. It's called Load Character by Already Pro. So um, if I type in like Already Pro is already the default, so you can always just change it to whatever you want. You know, just like change it, and it'll give you an avatar. And I can and you can choose to spawn R6 or R15. So you might have already heard of R6 and R15, but you don't know what they mean. Like why they R6 and R15? Well, simply because R6 means it only has 6 parts of the body, see? And then an R15 character has 15 parts, so you see? If here there's one, there's only one, there's one head, one left arm, one, two, three. Okay guys, so I'm back now. Oh, sorry, my computer had a, it was low on battery, so yeah. Basically we're back here, and as I was saying, these are the six parts of an R6 character. Of course, like for an R15, I'm just uh, loading another one, R15 here. So for an R15, you can see that that is also a variation in the way it looks. And also, a tip when you're spawning it in, you might sometimes spawn it in a published place. So basically what that means, when your game is published like this, and you spawn an R15 character, It'll, they'll look kind of weird, like their head will be down here next to the torso, so yeah. So always remember to spawn it in a non-published place. So yeah, as I was saying, R15 characters, you can see that is... Uh, sorry, this is your... Sorry, sorry. So, yeah, as I was saying, the R15 character, as you can see over here, has way more parts, like way more than the than his R6 cousin. So guys, I think that's all for the end of the video, and I'll see you next time in my next video, and you know, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications to see the next future videos, and I'll see you later.